Okay. Oh, I've got shit falling on my truck already. This morning, we are going to be doing a tankless flush. So, oh, I got some new hoses here. We're going to be doing a tankless flush on a Navian. This thing hasn't been flushed in nine years, ever since it was installed. So, we're going to be using some of this stuff. Seems to work out pretty good. You can also use vinegar. And... I'm going to get some new hoses here. These have seen, I can use those for glycol. So we'll get our pump set up. We've got a little transfer pump here, utility pump. Also installing a carrier infinity thermostat so we'll get this set up get us start it start flushing it and I will install my thermostat while this is flushing let me get in there Okay, so this is what we're working on here. We got an older NR210. And let's see, I can't remember how. Let's see what it says in the flush instructions. Let's see if it's in the owner's manual. This thing got recirculation? It does. You know. That's cold. Why is recirculation cold? I bet you it's not set up right. I bet you any money it's not set up right. Or the power one. You see, if you get power outages on these old ones, on the older Navians, it resets the control. And then you gotta actually go into the control and set up your recirculation time. Drain, cleaning filter. We're gonna check the filter. Plastic inline. We gotta clean the trap. Cleaning air intake. Hmm. Oh, I can't remember which way I'm flushing this thing. Gas piping, gas pressure, blah, blah, blah. Dip switches. I'm going to run through that. It's been installed for nine years. And I bet you dip switches aren't set up. Ah, we'll just do it the way I normally do it. Recirculation line. Hot. Plug it. 
I got two gallons of water with my uh, stuff in there. And I have to mix it up a little more. It's not dissolved. It will dissolve. But I can see it all at the bottom here. gallons and we'll put this in here we will screw this on the cold screw that on the cold and this is dumped back in the bucket Start flushing. Gotta open the valves. There we go, we are flushing. So we're gonna let that run for 20 minutes. Hopefully my pump lasts that long. It doesn't sound too healthy. Check the inlet screen. It's got a little smuts on it. Oops. that cleaned up bugs Let me go get my other little coffee can. Okay, got my little coffee can here. And my phone's going off the hook. I'm oh, sorry about that. But we got a we got the combustion trap right here. It's gotta be cleared. I don't know when the last time it was done. But I, hmm. you can see all the crap in there. That 
that's that's the combustion trap so gotta clean that out on a yearly basis but man look at that garbage so if you don't clear that out it will have pressure faults I think code 11's I can't remember After it's all said and done, we'll have to clear a filter on the cold water. And then we'll look at the dip switches, make sure they're set up, and turn the recirculation back on. But right now I'm going to go put an infinity control on the wall and go from there. But we're going to let this run. You can see the water is nasty. Okay, so it's been about half an hour, you know, between putting the infinity thermostat on the wall, cleaning this out. So we're going to call it right there. We're going to call it. So I'm going to shut this off. And then we got to flush it out with water. Boom. So what I'll do, which was switch? set of channel locks get my inlet filter off probably have some water there too there we go just check to make sure this is nice and clear get it out uh, no but it is clear so I'm not gonna putz with that so I'm gonna ship my valves here Shut the valves here, and I'm gonna run some water through this, flush the system out. Oh, come on. Just gonna 
flush it out. Just let it run water. Let it run water. So I don't have the heater on right now, I'm just running water. So we'll let this thing flush out for 10 minutes, just running water. Okay, I'm dumping this stuff out here. It's got, oh yeah, well, let's see. Pretty dark. See how much crap we got at the bottom of the bucket. It don't look like much. Mostly sand. That's not terrible for nine years. Not at all. I've seen a lot worse. Seen a lot worse. They come out in chunks. Still flushing this thing. We'll get it started up in a minute. Okay, we got everything disconnected. And we're gonna start it back up. They said they had some recirculation issues. And I think it was just the power outage. So if I remember on these, Function. Oh, geez. Yeah, none of this recirculation was set up. Recirculation the whole time. So there's no. And I'm just hitting the function key to get to this point. But I gotta set the time, I can't remember. <laughs> It's set up right. I think the circulation is set up right. I think. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, I'm 
gonna have to get the manual out. It's been a while since I dealt with. There we go. It doesn't. You know what? Uh, I'll just set the time up. What time is it? It's ten seventeen. Now this is with it off. What am I doing? Where's it going? Let's see what it does. Oh, I think I'm just adjusting. Just adjusting the minutes. hit function and it goes into recirculation there it goes so now it's going to recirculate I got to make sure my valve is open down here where it should be and my dip switches are in the right spot get back to yeah. you okay so everything was set up right come back hot It just needed time to do its thing. So if we hit function, we're out of recirculation. If we hit function again, we're back into recirculation. And there's your, right around there, you can adjust your times. But I got it on 24 seven, so it's working. Okay, so I'll see you on the next one.